Okay, so the eight year anniversary is literally just around the corner. It will begin within a couple weeks. And along with the eight year anniversary, we will get the guaranteed LRs. And what I mean is, we'll get the ATA tickets so that we can do the summons absolutely for free and then get a bunch of guaranteed LRs. But first, it is time for the subscriber challenge. Now, I want you guys to either pick heads or tails. If you guess right, you win. And if you guess wrong, you lose. And if you lose, you have to subscribe because that is the challenge. Pick right now. Three, two, one, go. What's it going to be? It's going to be heads. So if you pick tails, you lose. And if you lose, you have to subscribe because that is the challenge. So if we go back to this last year, we got 77 tickets. And then there were two versions of this banner. The ticket version, where you got 77 tickets completely for free. And then the stone version in which you had to spend 300 stones on this banner to do that. Will this banner be worth it? Obviously, the ticket one is free, so that's going to be worth it, obviously. But will the stone banner be worth it this year? We're going to discuss that and more in this video. It's fair to expect this year for this to cost 350 stones this time on the stone banner. Because last year, it was 300. The year before that, it was 250. And the year before that, it was 200. So each year, they have gone up by 50 stones. I think they may change that this year and they may keep it to 300 although it's also possible that they take it up to 350 and even if that is the case like it's not really that big of a difference and of course as we said the tickets will be completely for free every single player can do this without a single stone the missions for these are normally really really easy so even if you are a brand new player you will be able to do this 100% as long as you do the missions. So let's go through the units that we expect to be on this banner. Now, of course, that's not going to be door confessed LRs. That, that's not going to be door confessed TURs. That's not going to be carnival LRs. But there will be LRs unfeatured. And there will also be banner units here. So we'll go through all of the ones that I think are really good. So starting off, let's LR Goku and Piccolo. They will definitely be on this banner. So you can, if you really like this unit, you can get these guys for free possibly on the upcoming ticket banner. This Goku and Piccolo is a good unit and he will for sure be on the banner. This Bardock recently got his EZA on JP. I can't wait for his EZA on Global. And of course, he will also be on the banner. So if you pull this guy and you can EZA him, he is definitely a massive W. Also, this Farsha, also not a bad junior whatsoever. She will also be on the banner. Bro, low key, this Tian could EZA in this celebration. If it is Boo Saga, this Tian and this Vegito could EZA. The Tian will be on the banner, but of course, the Vegito won't be because he's a door confessed. And the TN is only a banner unit. Pan will possibly be on the banner, but it's not guaranteed because until now we haven't gotten a banner unit on the New Year banner, so this could go either way. Pan could be on it, or she might not be. That's no way to know. This trio will be on it as an LR, but they're not that good, even with the EZA. If you get them, they are usable, but they're not that good. This guy, Tora, will be on the banner, so if you like this unit, you can get him, possibly. The thing on this banner, though, if you want any specific unit, that's going to be very difficult to get. But you will get a bunch of stuff guaranteed this unit here the trunks and whatever that thing's called giru um yeah this unit honestly mate if you get them fair enough but they're not that good the goku and piccolo they'll be on the banner but again they're not that good hello god goku getting his ease yeah soon and he will also be on the banner that could be a big pull if you get him gohan will obviously be on the banner but he's not that good either this vegeta here the super saiyan vegeta i um, that came out on golden week he's okay but even he's not that good because he aged out like fairly fast He's decent though, he's usable, I've got him, he's alright, I've not used him much. When he came out, I thought I was going to really like him, but over time, I've not used him at all. I don't dislike him, but I've not really used him. Gohan and Krillin will definitely be on the banner. Trunks and Vegeta will definitely be on the banner, Gohan and Trunks, 100%. Oh, my boys, my boys! Android 8 will be on the banner, and he might be one of the best units you can get on the banner. And speaking of banner units, Jarko will also be on the banner. He's nowhere near as good, but he is decent to be fair. Kale and Khalifa need that easy game, my boys. When they get the easy A, they could be the best unit in the game. Okay, with the Tech Carnival Goku and the LR Physical Cooler, will they be on the banners? Most likely not because they are Carnival exclusives, so I highly doubt they'll be on the banner. If they are, these banners are going to be insane. They are going to be incredible. They are going to be on that next level. But I don't think the Carnival LRs will be on these banners. And to be fair, the banners are still decent, especially because it's free with the tickets. Tech God Goku is still a decent unit in certain events. If you pull this guy, that is somewhat of a W. Yajirobe, very, very decent, and he very much should be on the banner for the anniversary. 
all these LRs will be here, but none of them are that good. Kleefle, again, um, she's usable in certain content where you have guaranteed dodge against pure Saiyans and universal survival saga enemies. We need a brand new Android 16 in this game, my boys, for the Gohan. As I said, with the carnival LRs, I doubt they'll be on the banner, but if they are, that is a W. Janemba will be there, and that is also a W because he's still a very, very decent unit. Golden Freezer is what is probably the single best unit that will be on this banner. Bro, if you do your ticket summons, or if you summon on the Storm banner, and you pull this Golden Freezer, you got the biggest W you could have possibly gotten from these banners. He will be there, he is the single best unit you can get. There are some other very good ones, but he is probably the single best one. Him, Inzumasu, and then a few of the banner units. Goku Black, not that impressive. Golden Freezer, if you get him, he's a very, very decent unit to pull. Broly, very, very mid. He was mid on release. Rakum and Guldo are a very good unit to pull, to be fair. To this day on the Ginyu team, they are very, very powerful. Nappa, still a very decent unit to pull. To be fair, there was a few units here that are going to be really good if you pull them. Starting off with Inzamasu, easily one of the best units you can pull on this banner. If you get this guy on this banner for free, Bro, that is a humongous W. Jason Burt is still a very, very decent unit, to be fair. 19 and 20, still usable, very much a usable unit, very decent. Chilai, bro, once, if she had more teams, bro, she would be a single top 10 unit in the entire game. She is that good. So if you pull her, that is a major W in preparation for the future when she hopefully gets new teams. The Ella, Goku, Black and Zamasu with the EZA are a very, very powerful unit. So if you don't have this unit already and you pull this guy, that is a pretty, pretty decent pull. He's alright. The Sin Shinron, he's alright. Vegeta, he's alright, I guess. Oh yeah, and his counterpart, that Goku, that Kaioken Goku, he's also a pretty decent pull if you get that guy. He is that Goku is better than this Vegeta here, but even the Vegeta, he's alright if you pull him. Broly, he's yay when? Wait a minute. Did I miss STR Piccolo? I was so confused because I didn't see Piccolo on that list. I didn't see Goku on that list. Like, I was so confused. But here they are. By the way, this Carnival Goku, I don't know if he was a Carnival exclusive because he was on that double rates banner. In which case, it's very possible that this Carnival Goku will be on these banners. I don't think the Tech Carnival Goku will be, but I think this Goku can be. And if he is, that is a massive W for this banner. In fact, he might be the best unit you can pull. Him, Golden Freezer are the two best units you can pull on these banners. There are other very good units, the Inzumasu, and then some of the banner units, but if he is on the banner, bro, that is a massive, massive W, my boys! And I think he will be. Again, I mentioned him before, the Goku, he is a very good unit to get on these banners. Not the best in the game by any means, but he's decent. Piccolo, honestly, one of the best banner units in the game if you get this guy. Especially if you have orange Piccolo, bro. That is a massive, massive W. Vegito, easy A when? UI Goku, easy A when? Anniversary? No, not at all. That's a 0% chance. Oh, I won't say that. There is less than a 1% chance that this guy will easy A in this anniversary. STR Piccolo can help you in certain events. So those are all the units that I wanted to discuss in this video. Are you guys excited for these free summons? And do you plan to summon on the store? version of this banner if so let me know in the comments also do like the video also do subscribe especially if you fail the challenge because that is the challenge with that said thanks for watching and i will see you guys next time